Okay, we have a Jeppe Piranha. It's a uh, high performance EDF made in Holland. And um, it is a fiberglass and balsa wood kit. Uh, can be built over a weekend. It is powered with a Schubler all carbon fan that's made in Germany. It's a, uh, uh, it's a 70 millimeter diameter fan. And um, it's capable of putting out over four pounds of thrust. Uh, at around 50,000 RPM. The airplane is controlled with two JR Digital 281 servos in the tail. It just uses simple tail-on controls. Uh, the wing is a very thin aspect wing. It's only about uh, three-eighths of an inch thick at the center section. It's impossible to put aileron servos in there. It was painted in a um, using automotive uh, two-part paint with a uh, very nice clear coat on it. And um, Weighs about two and a half pounds, and uh, we think it's uh, top speeds right in around the 140 mile an hour range. Describe the flight. Exhilarating. It is an absolute rush to fly this model. Uh, turbine like power, speed, uh, virtually unlimited vertical going up uh, uh, almost 90 degrees to the ground. It'll, it'll just maintain vertical flight. It's uh, just an absolute rush to fly. Oh, the aerobatics, uh, very smooth type aerobatics. I do set up my models with a lot of exponential. And uh, because of the tailorons, it, it does limit the speed of a roll rate. Uh, you know, six, seven hundred foot loops are no problem with this model. And, you know, of course, I can string a slow roll down the field, but it will not do the super high speed uh, aileron type rolls. Uh, I use a bungee system to launch the plane. Uh, although I was, I am talking with uh, one of the uh, LiPo cell producers of producing a very lightweight pack that will save uh, about six ounces over the existing flight weight, which we could actually, should be able to hand launch the model. And uh, it should be pretty impressive. The uh, watts per pound right now is about uh, 400 watts per pound on this model, which gives it its turbine-like performance. And um, if we were to uh, put that lighter weight pack in there, like 420 watts per pound, it's, it should be pretty amazing to watch. How is it landing? Actually, it lands very nicely. It, uh, you know, the uh, comes in very slow. I use a, uh, a trim setting that uh, puts the model into a uh, high angle of attack, like a high alpha type flight condition. And uh, it's very easy to land, maintains control right down to uh, the landing spot. No landing gear. No landing gear, no room for it, and weight, of course, is, uh, is very important on these small models. How was the flight? Great, fantastic. It's just uh, thing penetrates the air like uh, like a rocket. A little quick, wasn't it? Yeah, we. I'm thinking maybe about 150 on those downwind passes today. Yeah. So uh, I'd say probably six, seven, maybe even 800 feet on some of those climbs. It's just a it's just a rush to fly this little model and not have uh, the kind of money that the turbine guys have wrapped up in a model to get that kind of performance. Uh, electric has come of age.